Welcome back to consecutive day 1068 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And today's topic is organizational structure of KPIs. So um, please remember to give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. All the information about the challenge taking it involves in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day 1068 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And today's topic is an organizational structure of KPIs. So, um, first and foremost, if you don't know what KPIs are, they stand for key performance indicators. Okay, and um, in entrepreneurial or business terms, basically they are the most important metrics that allows you to monitor and see how your business is performing. So as a, an easy example, if you worked in a sales team, your key KPI or, K, or key performance indicator might be number of sales or it might be sales revenue created, something like that. So it just would give your manager a, an indication of how you're doing in your role. So that's a really super simplified example. Obviously you can go, you can get KPIs in every single department, every role of your business. And um, the reason I'm talking about this today is that I'm going through a, a massive process at the moment of a complete radical transition from my previous software and marketing automations into a completely new um, piece of software, which is more database driven and a completely new marketing um, automation piece of software as well. So it's a, a huge, huge transition for me. Bear in mind, I've been running my business and businesses utilizing this existing software probably for the past 10 years plus. So it's a huge, huge operation to transition. And there's the best part of 20 people within the business who also have to be transitioned into the new kind of software as well, trained up and everything. So it's a huge, huge um, change. And there's a famous phrase by, um, or quote by James Clear, who states, don't rise to the level of your goals, but fall to the level of your systems and processes. And that's basically where we are. We've outperformed our existing systems and processes. And we're now in a situation where we've overgrown them. Everything's a little bit, we're still fairly systemized, but they're all quite legacy based systems and processes now. And, and people don't really have clearly defined structure to their roles. And as the business is, new businesses kind of form, people get spread over too many departments, um, their performance isn't tracked well enough. And it's just, I kind of think it's the compounding effects of growth, really, of where we find ourselves today. So what I'm trying to do is build a new complete interface, which allows us to completely revolutionize how we operate and can also keep the whole group of businesses um, systemized, structured, people in the right seats, really, really important. And one of the tasks that my mentor, Andrew Cruzy, has asked me to do is basically create a, a new organizational structure, whose role, who's doing what within the businesses. And it should be a really simple thing for most CEOs to be able to do. Um, but it hasn't been because too many people are doing too many different roles in the business. So I've had to basically strip everything back and what I've done is I've created an organizational structure of KPIs. So what are the most important metrics in each department? And then once I've got those metrics, I'll be liaising with the team and each team member will get at least one KPI that they are responsible for. And that will basically form the foundation of their role. And off the back of that KPI, what are the, the metrics? What are the, what are the daily activities, weekly activities they're gonna to have to be doing? in order to impact that KPI. And we're gonna build out the whole team from that. So there's lots of different kind of metrics I'll be monitoring here based on how well the team performs, making sure they're in the right roles, etc. And the way I've kind of done it, I've reverse engineered it from what are the most important metrics I need to see, and then I'm applying the relevant person to that metric and that role. So um, that's what I've been doing today. And it's, um, it's really quite intense and you, you know, it's a lot of concentration needs to go into this because 
obviously you can change things as you grow, but the more I get right now, the easier that transition is going to be. So, um, yeah, huge headache. And I think ultimately, the uh, I'll keep you updated on how this goes. I do have the framework near enough done now. And tomorrow I'll be starting to look at who's going to do what role. I'll be liaising with each team member to make sure that they're comfortable with taking on that role. And um, once I've got that in place, the, the joys of transferring everybody to a new setup and training them and onboarding them will commence. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of where we are. Um, I, I'm, it's in process, so I can't really go too much further than what I've said today already. But what I will say is that the moral to the story today is exactly this quote. And I will draw upon this quote multiple times throughout this vlog because it's something that I strongly believe in. Don't rise to the level of your goals, fall to the level of your systems and processes. But most importantly, identify when you've outgrown your existing systems and processes and put that right. Um, I always talk about the three most important pillars of any business that I get involved in. I'm looking at the systems and processes, I'm looking at the data and reporting, and I'm looking at the people. And I can tell you now, if I get those three things right in any business, that business will scale, grow, be systemized and sustainable. So um, this is why systems and processes and data are so important and then mapping the people to the right role. So um, that's the journey I'm on at the moment. I'll keep you posted on how this goes. I'll also talk to you about how structured each business is gonna be in order to grow and succeed in later episodes. But that's it for me today. If you question or comments, drop me a line. I'll respond to everyone. Do remember to give us a subscribe, share, like, and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. Uh, all the information about the challenge, you can get involved in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always. Stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.